Well, when we look at the different things that we do to destroy friendships and relationships, one of the top ones is passive aggressive behavior. It's been that for a very long period of time. And I would say probably in about 50% of the clients that I work with, have worked with over the years, that it's something that's either destroying their relationship from their side or destroying it from our side. And what is passive aggressive behavior? By the way, I'm David Essel and I'm here to support you and to encourage you to make the massive changes in life that we all need to make, myself included, to have deeper love and greater friendships and more trust. Passive aggressive behavior is exactly what it sounds like. It's when we, behind someone's back, do things to aggressively get back at them because we are resentful, because we're hurt, because we're angry, whatever it might be. It's um, And sometimes when I'm doing lectures and I'll ask people to raise their hands, What's more damaging to a friendship or a relationship? Is it someone who's yelling or is it someone who's doing passive aggressive behavior behind their partner or their friend's back? And of course, everyone thinks screaming and yelling is so horrendous and it is, but it's not any more damaging. Passive aggressive behavior is just as damaging as screaming and yelling because it totally shatters trust. So I'm gonna give you some examples of passive aggressive behavior for a number of years, a woman, a client of mine used to bring her husband coffee in bed and they ran into these tough, tough times in the morning and she stopped, just completely stopped. And one day he said to her, you know, it used to be so nice when you bring me coffee up and then she came up with all these excuses. Well, I know, but you know, now this has changed and that has changed and I wish I could because I miss doing it too, but I can't. But the truth was she was so pissed off that she decided that that's how she was going to get back at him. Instead of talking about it and working about it and bring him into someone like me to help them work through their rough edges, she just decided to do some passive aggressive behavior. A gentleman that I worked with who was really unhappy with his wife decided that he was going to start staying at work longer. So she would say, oh my God, when are you coming home? And he'd say, you know, I can't get home anywhere before 8 or 8.30 or 9 o'clock. And he'd come home, he'd eat dinner by himself, he'd watch TV, he'd go to bed. Why? Because he was so pissed off at her and he had said one or two times he wanted X to be taken care of and it never was. So he just gave up and said, screw it. She wants me home early. I'm going to be home really late all the time. Do you see what I'm saying? We do it with family members. Oh, my God. There was a woman that I worked with that whose father kept saying, you know, I really want you to come and visit me. And she came up with all these excuses in the world. None of them were true. But she resented him for something that had happened years ago. And instead of clearing it up, well, she was never available. Or how about individual, you might have someone in your life that you text and normally they text you right back and all of a sudden it's two, four, six, eight, ten hours later. Or you call and leave a voicemail and you don't hear from, from the next day. And then when they talk to you, they say, oh my gosh, I didn't see the text. Well, they're lying <laughs> because they're pissed. But instead of bringing it up and saying, you know, I'm really unhappy with you, I'm going to do something behind your back. That's what passive aggressive behavior it is. We are passively getting back at someone by being aggressive behind their back. And it destroys trust. Oh my God, with friends, with family, with your lover, forget it. It's one of the quickest ways to destroy a relationship. Why is that? And here's the answer. The reason it destroys relationships is because the other person knows something's going down below the surface. They can't put their finger on it. They can't prove you're not answering their text on time. They can't prove you're not calling back, but you have time. They can't prove that you're not bringing coffee to them because you're pissed off at them. But they know intuitively, they know something's amiss. And passive aggressive behavior is the tool of the codependent. The codependent person that doesn't want to rock the boat, talk about difficult topics, come to solutions, go into counseling, go into therapy. We'd rather just sort of beat around the bush and get back at them by doing things like this. There was another woman, I, I'm going to give you a lot of examples because there's so many examples. There was another woman I worked with that would slowly start to throw out some of her boyfriend's ties without him knowing it. And then she found some photos that she didn't like that were put in a back closet and she threw them out. And, of course, he didn't know it at first because it was happening so slowly, but she was so angry at him. But instead of talking and bringing him into the office, she would come in and just talk about how rageful she was. And when I asked, how are you taking care of this, she started to fess up. I said, oh, my God. I said, has your boyfriend been really unhappy with you in the last couple of months? She said, yes. Does he have a reason? She said, no. I said, yes, he does. He knows that you're doing something behind his back, but he can't put his finger on it.
hey, listen, if you need help with this, because this becomes an addiction, our passive aggressive approach to life becomes an addiction. If you need help with this, we give 15 minute free consultations over the phone one time to anyone. And in 15 minutes, we can start moving you in a good direction. Just email me at the website above my video or below and we can get started with you, okay? But let me help because this is something that affects so many people and it destroys love relationships, family relationships, and friendships. We can stop it right now, okay? Have a beautiful day. Bye now.